guys and welcome to my closet. I don't think I have ever filmed a video in here, but today I'm gonna share with you guys my minimalist work wardrobe. When I moved into this house uh, five or six months ago now, if you missed that, I will link my house tour video up in the cards, but when I moved, I minimized a lot of things, including my work wardrobe. I kind of kept pieces that I knew would work with others and I can mix and match outfits and still look professional in the office. So without any further ado, here is my 2017 minimalist work wardrobe. A little disclaimer before we start this tour, I used to work at White House Black Market. It was one of my, you know, acting jo like day jobs I would do in between auditions and shows. So a majority of the clothes I currently have are from White House Black Market because twice a year they would let the employees take an additional 15% off all clearance items. So I would go and shop in like the 70% off clearance item and then take the extra 15 off. So majority of these things are from White House Black Market. If an item is not from there, I will say, but just assume a majority are not a sponsored video. Get nothing, there's nothing in the description box about where to shop. This is just letting you guys know where majority of these clothes came from and reassuring you they were not bought at the retail price. Let's start with pants. First is just a black trouser. These are, of course, the White House Black Market boot cut. These go with a majority of my tops and then I do have a matching suit jacket top. Next is the same style of pant, but in gray, also boot cut. If you look up close, it's got a little bit of a pattern, but I love wearing this with like a white solid button down shirt. I think it looks really professional and a pair of black heels. But I did want to add some color into my pants collection, so I have navy. These also are a little high in the waist and they do not go all the way down to the floor. They go just above the ankle. These are called straight crop pants. I'm sorry, straight crop trousers in navy blue. This is a purplish gray, same cut, different color. I like that cut so much and they were obviously on sale, so I got three different colors and you'll see when I show the tops, I can mix and match various tops with these pants. The first top is the one I mentioned before, which is just a simple white button down shirt. It goes down just above the elbow, which leaves me some space to type or take phone calls or sit in my meetings and just look nice. I do have some jackets that I will wear over this at times, uh, but this top matches every pair of pants, so it's very, very versatile. We don't discriminate in my closet, so I also have it in black. The black does go full length sleeve though, so I will probably roll the sleeves up. This I never wear underneath a jacket. This just looks really nice with like the gray pants or the red slacks. Can't go wrong with a good classic black button down. Since we are in the summer months, I did want something that was sleeveless, but as I work in a professional office, I didn't want something that showed a lot of cleavage or midriff or any of that stuff. So I got a collared shirt. It's got two little pockets and it buttons all the way up if you want, but I only button like the top two. This works with every pair of pants I have as well. Putting a little color in the closet. This is the first piece not from White House Black Market. I'm not exactly sure where I got this. My mom got it for me, so I'm not sure what store it came from. If my mom watches this, she can comment where she got this top. This is yellow, and then the design on it is actually the same navy blue as that trouser. So I do often wear this with the blue, but it will also match with the black. Next is a red of the same style without the collar. This has a little bit more of a design in the front, but a solid red top that again goes with many of the pants. hear my cat. The next top is just a black and white. It's got a little bit of a spandex feel on the side. It's a little more fitted. I do tend to wear like a camisole underneath so I'm not showing off any you know cleavage in the office. That's just not the place. But this shirt has lasted. I think this is one of my first items I ever got from White House Black Market and it's lasted me like three years. But it's good quality. It washes well and it looks professional when I need it. The last one came from New York and Company. It is a satin, kind of like peachish orange color. It's got a bow on the neckline. It was kind of like my wild card in my office wardrobe. This works with the gray, the black, sometimes the blue if I really want to push it. But I think it just looks nice on its own or underneath a suit jacket. Yes. My cat is wondering why all my clothes are all over the floor. 
Next, I'm gonna show you guys my suit jackets. I only have two. I think if you just have two solid ones that are versatile, that's all you really need. This is the gray that matches the pants I showed you earlier. I already have it matched with a tank, or tank top. I already have it matched with a sleeveless White House Black Market white decorated top. I don't know if you can see the design. It's got like a nice V on it. But closed up, it's got these nice little patches on the side. This, thank goodness, was in my size. This was like 90% off when I got there. Like we just couldn't sell it on the floor. No one wanted it. So I said, you know what? I already have the pants. Let's just get a gray suit top. And the last jacket top is of course a solid black. I have it matched with an express, kind of a goldish undershirt with like a black design. This I typically only wear with the black pants because I think it looks very professional and tied together. When it comes to heels, only two really made it into my collection once I minimized. You can never go wrong with a good pair of black heels. I personally do not like pointed shoes, so these have like the oval tip. These are, I believe, the one item I did buy at wholesale price. I needed a pair of heels when I worked on cruise ships because when we go out in the evenings on our own, we're not in costume, we're off the clock, we go out in our own clothes. And I needed a pair and you're only in port for a few hours a week, so I didn't have the time to shop around and really like get a good grip for what a good price would be. These were more expensive than I care to remember. They are nine west, they are leather, but I've had these for over five years. So at the end of the day, yes, they cost me more, but they have lasted. They still look really nice. They can be shined up. I wear them with pants or dresses and they're really versatile. And the other pair I have are nude heels. These I wear more with dresses, but I feel like you can't just have black. You always have to have something else. And nude, in my opinion, goes with almost anything. Oh, and these are from a store called, call it Spring. I'll be honest and let you guys know, I don't wear heels every day, maybe about half the time. But I do have two pairs of flats that I like. The first are just a pair of black flats. When I try to get my walk in in the office, I will always switch into flats because I don't like walking in heels. And I like this design so much, I got them in a gray. So in all honesty, I only have four pairs of shoes that I wear to the office, but they are so versatile and they work with every outfit. And last but not least, dresses. The first one is of course White House Black Market. It is sort of the top. It's got a high neckline, sleeves, it's got at the waist a little bit of a white design on the right and a little bit of a yellow and tan design on the left. There we go. There is a belt, but it is currently on the dress I'm going to show you next. They share a belt. If I ever have to give a presentation, I always like to wear this dress because I know it looks professional and it matches either the black heel or the tan heel because there is tan right there by the yellow. The next dress is more of a summer dress. It is white, also high neckline, because that's just, in my opinion, the most professional. This is the belt they both share. And then once the dress gets to the waistline, the design and pattern shift to a diagonal. And then down, down towards the knee, it's got a little bit of a slit, but the slit is on the knee, not on the thigh. So I get it up there for you guys. There you go. Both of these dresses from White House Black Market, I've had four a year to a year and a half now and they still look great, they wash well and they wear well. And very rarely if we like are going out for lunch or we have like a retreat off the clock or at the office, I will wear something kind of like this with some leggings and black boots. And of course since I wear it with leggings, it does go down to the mid thigh. Looks professional, high waistline, I think it just adds a little bit of color, I really like the green. And then when it comes to jewelry, I just like to wear a pair of stud earrings maybe a necklace, very rare. And then I have a watch that I wear so I know that if I'm in a meeting, I can keep myself on the clock and scheduled and not be running late to anything. But you guys, that is my minimalist work wardrobe. If you have anything similar, leave me down below in the comments something you think is a staple and needed in a wardrobe. Even if it's minimalist, what do we all need? For me, in my opinion, it is always going to be that white button down shirt. I think it is just classic. It looks good on everybody. But again, let me know down below. If you like these random tours or videos filmed in my closet, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. There is a floor here, somewhere. <laughs>